Hey guys, it's Tyler with Tyler's Dragon Tarot. So, I had an Aquarius ask, will Gemini come back? So, this is going to be an Aquarius Gemini reading, but we're going to get specific on will Gemini come back. So, first off, I just want to say, this is a general reading. So, none of it may resonate, some of it may resonate, all of it may resonate. And that's okay, don't force anything. Um... Also, I'm doing this as, like, all the uh, personal placements, I believe. Like, people like to say Big Six on TikTok. It's the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Mercury. Um, I have those intentions in mind when I'm thinking, like, what placements could resonate. Because I think that those placements have a tendency to resonate most. Like, I've seen a lot of readings for my Mars that are, that resonate. So any, anyway, um, so if you're here and you're wondering why, if you have an Aquarius placement and you're wondering why like someone with a Gemini uh, placement left or what, if they're coming back, this could be for you. Let's get into it though. So on the Aquarius side, like I'm getting that like super sad, like my whole body is shaking and painful and cold, like crying, like don't know what to say, don't know what to do, why'd they leave? Uh, that's that's the entire energy I'm getting off of that. On the Gemini side, I just heard, well, wait, on the Aquarius side, I also heard, um, what did I do? Because that led to the Gemini side being like, you didn't do anything, I just couldn't stay. Like, I don't know how that makes sense, but my questions I'm going to read... I'm going to get uh, cards for in this is why did Gemini leave? What are their current feelings? What are the actions they're going to take? And then we're going to get advice for Aquarius because I think that's important because even if the actions are Gemini is coming back, is it a good decision to be in that relationship again? Because I mean, sometimes things work out, but sometimes an X is an X for a reason. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, you guys have free will. You get to do what you want, whatever. So, anyway, let me draw some cards for those questions. So, answering the question, why did Gemini leave? We got the three of wands. I didn't feel like I needed to draw any more cards for that. So, with the three of wands, I just heard new opportunity, like, immediately. But um doesn't necessarily have to be a new person. Because I know that's probably going to be hard for Aquarius to hear. It, it's just kind of like they didn't want to be in a predictable routine, if that's making sense. Like, I'm trying to not, like, Aquarius, please don't take this offensively. It's just like the relationship is safe, secure, and can sometimes get a little predictable. And they wanted adventurous. They wanted new things every day. They... It's just like they didn't want to be held back. If that's me, God, I hate that that's the wording that came to mind, but that's that's pretty much it. Like they didn't want to be restrained. They didn't want their actions to be restrained because they had to consider how it would make you feel. Like they want to be able to do what they want, when they want, and how they want to do it. Um, and it's just like, I don't know if this is like their general thing or if this was just like a spur of the moment, like I can't handle this routine type of thing. Like I can't handle, like I need to be able to do what I want. Like, oh, oh my God, like I need to get out of here for a second. But that, that is what happened here. Like that's the, that's what I'm getting here. So let's get into current feelings. For like, I'm seeing this as there's a possibility of a little regret here, like maybe they acted a little fast, but they're still moving forward with what they want, with their needs. Like, I think the regret, the regret is hurting you because they did care, but they wanted to do things for themselves. And it's almost like... You may see an apology. Like, I, I kind of see this as an apology card um, in this. 
Like, and with it being a page of pinnacles, it may end up being like a, um, I'm hearing necklace specifically, but don't get hung up on that. Like it, maybe some sort of jewelry, some sort of, um, some sort of gift, like trying to give an apology, but I wouldn't get like your hopes up off of this because. I mean, we'll get into the actions they'll take, but I kind of feel like this bled into the actions they'll take. But with the judgment card, it kind of just feels like they're saying, I did what I did. Now I have to sleep in this bed I made. You know what I mean? So they're they're accepting their fate, basically. Like, this is what I did. Like, And, and I think they didn't want to hurt you, but it the energy is like, they wanted this. They made the decision for themselves. So I, as far as regretting the decision, I think hurting you is the only part that they wish didn't happen. You know? So um, let's go into the actions they'll take. So I see the actions kind of coming off of that page of Pentacles where it's like offering an apology maybe in the form of a gift. And with this Queen of Cups, it's just kind of like, Okay, so they may end up doing, like, a gift just out of compassion for you that really gets to you. Like, something that's just, like, how do you know I would want that? Like, just something that really makes you feel better. But with the Nine of Cups, I still see them wanting to achieve their own goals and achieve their own happiness. And that's, and it's kind of like their own thing right now. And with this strength card, it's just kind of like, I feel like this is saying, especially with that five of cups, like don't put, don't, what does it say? Don't expect too much from this gift because it was, it's a gift of trying to be compassionate and like feeling bad because they hurt you and they didn't want to hurt you. They just, it's like they haven't been selfish and they didn't get to achieve their own things. Like they didn't get to put, they felt like they didn't get to put energy into themselves. And they just one day was like, I'm doing me. And they just couldn't focus on anything else. And they had to focus on them. So it, it's almost like, it's just, mm, what am I trying to say? They want to, help you feel better and lift you up because there there's still a level of caring but I don't see this gift being like a I'm coming back gift I see it as a I want to help you feel better gift and hopefully you'll understand where I'm coming from type of thing um I don't really see it as them coming back so let's get advice for Aquarius Aquarius your advice you got the King of Wands, you got, okay, hold on, I'm hearing travel specifically, I was going a different direction, but then I heard Sagittarius travel, um, with that one, so anyway, let's go, Seven of uh, Swords and the Eight of Coins, so, um, and by the way, the Sagittarius didn't have to be anything, anyone specific, it's just like, Sagittarius is like the ninth house of, um, God, it's like spiritualism, travel, like learning. Um, I may be missing one or two, but so anyway. But with the King of Wands, it's just kind of like, okay, go after your passions with this eight of coin. Work hard at it, man. Like, go after your interests and take a page out of Gemini book. Do the things that you enjoy. Do them for you and really enjoy it. But with this Seven of Swords, it's just kind of a warning of not like screwing over people around you, like because you may be in this like negative depressive state because you're longing for your person, you may be lashing out at people. Like if you do that too much, you're gonna end up the lone wolf. Like she has that wolf on the head. That's why that kind of popped in my head. Like um you're gonna end up being the lone wolf because you've attacked too many people. So or just like ended up secluding yourself from everyone, isolating yourself from everyone. So enjoy your interests, be passionate about them, but also don't be like 
<laughs> I don't trust you. I can't trust anyone. Like, get away from me. I don't care about you. Like, don't start pushing people away either is kind of the advice where um, enjoy, still find enjoyment and fulfillment in relationships because it kind of, it kind of feels like that's where you are because it feels like the reason this is popping up is because eventually you'll end up crashing and being like, I miss relationships, like even just friendships. And then you'll have burned all the bridges if you're not careful. So anyway, hopefully this resonated. Hopefully it helps. And I hope you guys have a good day.